time of year, I always start thinking, okay, we're going to start doing some traveling. We're going to start doing some vacationing. A lot of people have still got a few weeks of school left with their kids, if they've got kids. And inevitably, you get ready for the vacation. You get going. Someone gets an ear infection. Someone gets something going on with the throat. Someone's got an ingrown toenail. Uh, you you know you've got whatever meds you're taking, and you've got to go get a checkup. And they got to you know whatever, whatever, whatever. And then you've got to go away, and you're going to be away in this case from here for a month. And you realize when you get away, and you get an injury of some sort, some stupid thing, right? Like maybe you sprain an ankle or whatever, or, you know, you get a, an ear infection and you know what you do when you're here. And now you get to wherever you're going, which is there. And while you could treat whatever you're doing that way, there is going to be a lot different than here. And it, many times not nearly as convenient. And I, and I just going to go back to, I don't know how many years ago, 15 years ago, maybe one of my boys had thrush. So maybe it's 20 years ago. And, and we, we, you know, had it here and it would happen a couple of times a year. So we knew what it was. And there was a treatment, you know, you had this creamy stuff that I, I think, I think it was an oral. I'm going to assume it was an antifungal. Yeah. Some kind of antifungal that you put in and, and it was great. It was easy. You know, just go to the store. We knew it. You'd talk to the doctor. Yeah, go and get this. Okay. We went and got it. Got back to Canada. I said, well, you know, went to the pharmacy, said, look, we clearly it's got thrush. We just need some of this. And they go, yeah, you need a prescription. And we went, you got to be joking. He's like, no, no, you got to, now you got to go to the doctor and you got to go see a doctor who's going to take a look in and, you know, who knows what they're going to want to do. And all you need is this antifungal that is prescription based. And so something that yeah. was a five minute deal is in now Dubai. turned into a two hour deal plus, plus, plus. You know, people often don't think about this when they're either looking to relocate country or they're looking to just go on a simple holiday, especially if you've got children who pick up everything <laughs> and also can decline very, very quickly. Same yeah. for if you've got elderly relatives and you decide to take a holiday. So people just assume assume the healthcare is going to be there and sometimes that's I, I, not the I, case. I'm just going to stop you for just one second. You're the only, the second person I know who says the word assume, assume, you and Mr. Richard K. Wood. I say... <laughs> assume. Ash- ass- assume. Yeah, oh my gosh, I do. I never, yeah, I never yeah, knew yeah. I did it only, until now. Only you assume. and Richard, Mr. Richard K. Wood. I'm giving you the... Assume, the, the yeah. I, I mean, I, I always, I always often wonder, I said, okay, it's got to be some British thing. Cause it's probably northern. Maybe. I don't know if a clue where he is from. But, you know, second light photography. Go look it up if anyone figures out where he's, he's from. Good. He's good. He's very good. Did you see my latest headshot? Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, I haven't put it up yet. It's awesome. James is putting a lot of photographs of himself up at the moment. I yes. have noticed. It's masked. It's, with it's, that hair, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so assuming, <laughs> people assume, assume, I can't even say it. I know, it's that. hard. You can't say it. No, because it, it sounds totally bizarre. Because I don't know how you get the shh in there. It's... Assume. A-S-S-U-M-E. How you do you assume. Get sh- it's, there's like no a, H. it's like a sneeze. Yeah. Shoo. S-H-O-E. A shoo. There's no sh. There's no H. Well, I've never sh- noticed this until today, <laughs> and now I'm going to be horribly, horribly self-conscious for the rest of time about my <laughs> assume. But most of us don't consider <laughs> before we go on holiday what the healthcare is going to be like. Yeah, yeah. And even myself, as a health professional, I never really thought about it until oh. I had children oh. because suddenly I would think, hang on, what happens if they got ill? Because they, especially yeah. when they were little, yeah, yeah, yeah. they were always getting sick and suddenly places like um, going to Sri Lanka or somewhere a bit more exotic, I think, well, hang on, let me look at what the healthcare's like. You ever go to the pharmacy in Sri Lanka? or no, some, you, you don't want to because the, the stuff that we're used to getting, that's it's not available. That's not available. Or sometimes there's a language barrier. Right. Sometimes the instructions are written in a totally different language. And it's easier now. We have smartphones. We can try and translate. But still. And the other thing that people don't realize is that when they go back to their home country, they assume... (laughs) I'm so... I can't say. They consider that they are automatically eligible for free healthcare. And that's actually not the case. If you've been at the NHS for six months, you're you're not really eligible. Same in Canada. Yeah. I mean, I always... We, you know, fortunately I've got health insurance from my employer that translates over to Canada, but I always get travel insurance as well Yes, because you can never be too sure. It's not even, so travel insurance, obviously, but make sure you have a good medical insurance. Yeah. And the other thing that you want to look at with your medical insurance is that you have a repatriation to your home country. Right. Because if you got really sick and you ended up in a private healthcare system on an ICU bed, 
that the amount of coverage you're going to get will get yeah. literally used up almost immediately. And so you want repatriation back to the place that you are from or the place that you can get good health care and you know it's going to be covered because travel insurance does... It yeah. runs out. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and in fact, even here in the UAE, sometimes our private healthcare insurance can run out. But yeah. usually in your home country, you have a much higher cap than you would elsewhere. So it's very important that you look for repatriation. And then you said as well, James, about the quality of healthcare. Oh, I will yeah. never forget, I had um, a few sherbets and I was going for a walk at night <laughs> and I smashed my toe into a concrete oh, bollard. No. And a few days had passed, and I thought, you know, I'm going to get this checked because my toe resembled the width of a cocktail sausage. Uh-oh. And as I walked in, the receptionist said, you've not broken your toe. And, <laughs> <laughs> and dismissed me. I wasn't allowed to go for an x-ray. Got back to Dubai, decided to check it out because it was still excruciatingly painful, and yeah. it was smashed. I mean, the bone was completely smashed, but in this hospital, they wouldn't even yeah. um, x-ray it for me. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. so... But the thing is, is would it stop you travelling? No. Yeah. No. No.